Hello and welcome to the OpenBB terminal. This onboarding demo will guide you through using the OpenBB Copilot and it will feature an earnings update workflow. We divided the demo into a couple of steps, which I will go through one by one. Uh, for this intro slide, we have, if you're not very familiar with the OpenBB terminal, here is a gentle introduction by the OpenBB CEO. There's an embedded video here and a reference to the docs. First step of this earnings update workflow, let's extract management guidance from transcripts. So for this demo, I'm going to focus on NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA's last quarter, I believe, uh, as of this demo, as of this recording, is the second quarter of 2025. So I want to see what guidance that they provided for this quarter. So I'm going to focus on the earnings transcripts to extract this guidance. The way to find it in OpenBB, I'm going to say add widget. Let's type in transcripts. Here's the earning transcripts widget. If you hover over it, it will tell you where we got this from, and it comes with uh, in a nice navigation toolbar. So I'm interested in NVIDIA. Let's look for NVIDIA 2025. And let's go back to first quarter because I'm interested in what they said about the second quarter. So you can do some basic searches here, but magic really happens when we add this to context. So now we can ask the OpenBB Copilot some questions from here. So in this case, uh, we have already done some of the prompt engineering for you. So I'm just going to copy paste the prompt uh, from the notes to here. So what I was going to ask is analyze the earnings transcript. Let's extract the key management guidance for the next quarter. Typically, the transcript will include guidance about the the full year, so I want to exclude any old guidance. And sometimes guidance comes with a range, like they would say a number plus or minus 5%, something like that. So in order not to miss those cases, I specifically want to say, if the guidance comes with a range, make sure it's captured in the output, and I'm gonna give it some sort of table to populate. So present the results in a table with the following columns, metric, period, and value. So let's see what happens. Great, so it actually extracted six items that the management provided guidance for, and you see in some cases it's actually plus or minus something. So I'm going to show you another magic. There's like a little button here, create widget from table. So I'm going to edit this guidance a little bit, but let's first create the widget. So if you press this, it's going to suggest a title and a description, and voila, so now we have another data frame which we can add to the context and do some editing on. But before we do that, let's actually set it to check one of the numbers. So let's say in this case, you know, it's talking about gross margins, two separate guidance were given. Let's just check where it actually got this from and whether they, this is actually accurate. So I'm gonna type gross margin. So it's going to take me to, I believe the CFO speaking. So somewhere in her speech. So there you go. Gap and non-gap gross margins are expected to be 24.8, 25.5%, plus or minus 550 basis points. Um, so there you go. So it's actually captured it. So you can use this data now um, for the next step. But you see, this is actually not numeric because all of these values are actually strings. So let's say that I wanted to edit this slightly. I'm going to add this to context now, and I'm going to say, edit this table, just edit the table by creating a high, low, mid columns from value column, compute the number from value column for plus, and minus format the numbers row instead of billion times billion, billion, billion. So there you go. So now we got the total revenue number, the mid so 28 billion, so now is properly written here. And it's at plus or minus 2%. So let's actually get the plus or minus 2% computed and edit here so that we have a proper numeric range. 
Um, and in cases where there's nothing to compute, since we didn't provide any guidance, it just basically repeated the number. But you see, for instance, here, 17% plus or minus 1%. So 16 to 18 percent. So now I actually would prefer to work with this one. So I'm going to create this as my new widget. Uh, so just accept it as it is. I no longer need this. So I'm going to get rid of it. So from now on, we're going to work with this widget. The next step is to compare the management guidance we extracted from transcripts to the results from the filings. I want to know if the NVIDIA managed to exceed expectations in this quarter. Um, relative to the, the guidance that they have set out. A word of note here, people also do these analysis relative to analyst expectations. So if you have analyst estimates data on detailed KPIs, you can simply add them here by following this add data menu. So in this case, I've limited myself to data that's in a public domain. So I simply drag and drop the 10Q here. It's an 80 page document. So you, know, you don't want to search for all these metrics that they provided guidance on manually simply press this button plus button it adds it to the context i already have it in the context the guidance uh, from the previous step and i'm going to pass this prompt I'll read it out loud so i want to extract all the key metrics from the financial report and i want them compared against the guidance uh, back in q1 and i want you to populate a table with metric high mid low guidance what is the actual result from this 10q and what is the percentage difference from the mid? Okay, let's see what happens. So we're going to be able to see the step-by-step -step reasoning shortly before it prints the results. So here we go. So you can see that the revenue came out around 30 billion, which is about the high end of the guidance. Uh, in when it comes to margins, it's actually within the guidance range that they have provided. And when it comes to uh, in expenses, it was actually below expectations. Uh, so the, the expenses came out low and the effective tax rate came much below than the guidance range that they provided. So you can add this table as your new widget in this case. So here we are. So if you want to do any sort of charting, plotting, here's uh, one place to do it. The copilot also provides a nice summary of what I just said. So you can read through these things. Um, it gives you some bullet point summary. We can do some back and forth to write and draft the exact thing that you would like to include in an earnings update presentation, for example. But I wanted to show how to do a little bit of charting uh, before we move on. So let's say I'm interested in charting high, mid, low guidance against the actual result. So I can simply select some custom chart area. Um, let's say we wanted to plot the margins and the tax rates. Let's say chart, I want to group by chart. And here they are. So just basically created some simple chart that you can play around and improve. In this next step, let's do a cross-reference with market sentiments. There's a couple different ways this could be done. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to work with the news and the market uh, price data. So let's bring the news first. I'm going to say add widgets, work for news. There's company news widget. Again, you can hover and see where this is coming from. Let's say we're interested in NVIDIA. You can use the navigation bar to look for specific links and so on. But I'm just going to add this to context for the copilot and ask the question there. Let's also bring some price data. Again, you can bring your own price data. Um, but for demo purposes, we will look at whatever OpenBB uh, ships with. There's a widget for price performance. Let's add this. Uh, let's add NVIDIA for the last, let's say, three months. We're interested in around August 2023. Uh, so we have some daily price data for NVIDIA uh, with the candles. So what I'm going to ask the copilot now, well, before I re-ask it, let's add it to the, the context, both of these widgets. And based on these two widgets, what I want to know is um, let's do the company news and closing price, summarize the market sentiment towards the earnings announcement after 28 for the next couple of days. So now we can see the artifacts that the copilot generated to answer this question. 
so we can take a look at the step-by-step -step reasoning while this is happening. For one, from the pricing widget, it actually got the price data, so you can compute percent of changes and so on, and it summarized some news. So there's some positive news, there's an expanded partnership to scale AI, um, there's an open AI funding round, but there's a couple of uh, negative news. Uh, actually, the stock declined from 28 to the 29. Now we come to the last step of our demo. You're not limited to the data that you bring to OpenBB terminal. So imagine that you actually would like to ask the web for some questions. You can do that without leaving the OpenBB terminal by simply using typing at web which connects us through the perplexity AI to send queries to the web and get the responses and convert them to widgets and add it to your dashboard. So in this demo, we basically seen that, you know, guidance uh, from NVIDIA was actually relatively ambitious and they managed to beat that guidance in many instances. But despite that positive earnings report, the stock price actually declined. So let's ask the web what are some of the web sources say about what, might, what else that might be going on. So this is connecting through the perplexity AI and giving us the, the response without actually leaving the terminal. So I'm gonna add this widget, the response as a widget. Uh, so if you go through this in more detail, so it looks like for instance, in gross margins, we looked at the quarterly margins, but they beat expectations, but there's actually a drop in the annual guidance that they provided. Uh, that's an issue. Uh, there's an issue with some of the Blackwell chips that you would like to dig a little bit deeper and so on and so forth. 